What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, shout out to Miriam. Miriam dropped me a comment 20 minutes ago um, asking about a, a video that I cut a, a while back um, on running an, an engagement ad, on how to run a Facebook engagement ad. Um, and sometimes people get it right away, sometimes people don't, and that's why I love your comments, man. If you have any questions whatsoever, drop me a comment below. Um, question me on my videos, question me on strategies, ask questions, that's how you get answers to what the thoughts that are going on in your mind, you know, all that stuff that you're thinking of or assuming or trying to, trying to figure out, I'm telling you, man, most likely you're answer is a question away so if you can if you can drop comments below man i promise you i will do my best to get to every single one of them and drop a new video um to really kind of bring you up to par on, on where where you know you should be and where your ads could be in this particular case so um this one had to do with an engagement ad um video that i made and for some reason miriam is not really having success with it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just add my two cents and, and just kind of walk you through another engagement ad and, and kind of just share some more information on, 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 on making you understand it and just making it more clear and, and making sure that you guys really understand the differences between all these different ads, the pros and the cons, and just the, the advantages and the disadvantages of running an engagement ad or a video view ad or a lead capture ad really understanding the differences between all the different ads that you can possibly possibly be running through Facebook um, because that's where it truly starts, man. It truly starts when you come over here to your Facebook page, you click on create and you click on add. It all starts there. When you click on that ad, it's going to bring you to this section right here. And this is what you want to bookmark. So bookmark this page right here. Come up here, hit the star and just bookmark this tab because this is where all the magic is going to happen. Okay. Now, um, this is where it starts and engagement is right here, but I want to really kind of educate you and kind of share what's the purpose of an engagement. Like why an engagement ad, right? It all comes down to your goal. You guys, it all comes down to your objective. Like what the heck are you trying to do? On my channel, I talk a lot about online marketing. And when it comes to online marketing, there's many aspects to it. Um, but I truly believe at the end of the day, it's all about capturing a lead. It's all about making a sell and or capturing a lead. And so with that being said, coming in here to the Facebook platform, whether I'm running a Facebook ad or whether I'm running a, an Instagram ad or whether even running a YouTube ad, 99% of people that are, that are running ads are, are doing it for those two main reasons, to either make a sell or to capture a lead, okay? Now, those are the two top reasons. The third reason is for some type of brand awareness or some type of exposure, okay? That's the third reason. So, so to tell you the truth, the third reason when you, when you go for, for, in this case, engagement, which I call exposure, brand awareness, it's, it, it fits number three. It fits that category of, of the, third, the third reason. Um, but mainly people that are, that are going for, for, for that type of an ad are mainly people that are that are that are how can I say this that are that are just trying to get some type of exposure okay they're not driving the, the, the click to a landing page they're not driving the click to a checkout um, on your website whether it's a Shopify or an Amazon or your own e-commerce website so your objective isn't to to drive a click to to buy something um, so therefore you are most likely just looking for exposure. You're looking for just brand awareness. You're looking for exposure. You're looking to just get your name out, right? And so those are the people, that's the third reason and, and the third types of people, you know, that, that run ads. It's, 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 it's that type of person that is not necessarily looking for a lead or a sell right away. So to tell you the truth, the way I look at that is that if you have extra budget, if you have extra money to throw at Facebook ads, then you can start running engagement. You can run maybe brand awareness and reach. You can maybe go for, go for, go for video views. 
go for video views, right? If you're just looking to spend some money and get, and get your feet wet, if you're just learning and you're trying to really explore and, and really understand the differences between all these ads, because at the end of the day, it's going to be your analytics. It's going to be your reporting. It's going to be your numbers that determine the differences between all this stuff, right? You're going to have to look at your report. But what I'm going to do is really give you, give you, give you a heads up and give you a cheat sheet on, on how to really approach it. Engagement in this particular case, shout out to Miriam. Miriam is, is trying to run an engagement ad. Okay, so what I'm assuming, what I'm assuming is that Miriam is not looking to drive a click to a landing page. Because if we if we were, then our objective would be to capture a lead, right? We're driving it to a landing page in order for them to put their name and email. That's gonna be a traffic type of ad or it's going to be a conversions. It's definitely not engagement. Okay. Now, can people see the engagement ad, click on it and then go to your website? Yeah, that can happen for sure. But you're telling Facebook, Hey man, that's not really my objective. If it happens, it happens. Great. But my objective is to get video views or my objective is to get just brand awareness or reach or engagement, which all kind of cover what those are exactly in more detail. But if you're, if you're not driving a click to a landing page where you're going to be capturing a name and number, or if you're not driving a click to a website where you're looking to make a sell, okay, then engagement is something you can run. And again, I just truly believe it's only if you have more budget because, because at the end of the day, I'm willing to bet the majority of you guys that are watching this video right now are looking to do number one or two. Number one, you're looking to make a sell online. Number two, you're looking to capture a lead. So really engagement wouldn't be your type of Facebook ad. Now, again, if you have an extra budget, if you have more money to spend engagement, I'm going to tell you why people run engagement. I'm going to tell you the benefits of an engagement ad, but an engagement ad wouldn't be something really for you right now. If you're if you're really trying to trying to trying to accomplish step one or two, you know reason one or reason two. Um, so if you're if you're not doing that, then an, an engagement ad would be something you can run. Okay, so an engagement ad. Let's take a look at. Let me let me see if I can find. Actually, I I for sure would be able to find. Let me see if I can just go through my newsfeed and let's see if we can find an engagement ad. Okay. Now again, as I mentioned. The objective with an engagement ad is to not necessarily get that person to click, okay? They're not, we're not looking to get them to a website to buy something. We're not looking to get them to a landing page to give up a name and number, okay? We're not giving away anything for free. There's no free download. There's no free training video. There's no name and email. That's not the objective. We're not taking them there, okay? So with that being said, our whole thing would be to keep them on Facebook, keep them on Facebook and get them to engage in the post, AKA the ad. Okay. So as you scroll through Facebook, let's see if we can find an engagement ad. Okay. And, and, and I could just, I can just look at it and, 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 and 99% of the time I can know exactly what type of ad it is just by looking at it. So let's see if I can find an engagement ad. This could be an engagement ad. Okay, now I've seen way, way bigger numbers, but bestseller publishing, this is a, a video of Russell Brunson. Obviously, this is not coming from ClickFunnels. This is not Russell running this ad. It's someone else. It's bestseller publishing. Now, this right here could possibly be an engagement ad for sure. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this is an engagement ad. So anytime you see the word sponsored, and you're scrolling through and you see a ton of engagements. You've seen a ton of people like it. You see a ton of people share it, which is not exactly a lot, but the ad could have just started today for all we know. And that could be a ton of engagement just for today alone. And then they run it for another five days. And before you know it, the 15 comments are going to be 150 comments and the 30 shares are going to be 90 shares, right? So this ad could have just started today um, for all we know. But what I do know, what I'm, what I'm willing to bet is that it's an engagement ad because you see the engagement. Anytime you see a ton of shares, a ton of comments, and a ton of likes, that is an engagement ad. Now, 
there's a learn more button so I can click on it and I can go off of Facebook and I can go to a landing page and there's my name and number. But the objective was not that. The objective was to keep these people on the platform and get them to comment, get them to share, get them to like. Okay. Now, what are some reasons why people would do that, right? If, if, if they're not looking to capture a lead or if they're not looking to make a sell necessarily, at the end of the day, they are, but not in this particular case, not with this specific ad objective. It's an engagement ad. What's the purpose of it and, and, and why would someone even run it? Why would Bestseller Publishing run this engagement ad? A couple reasons is because of the social proof. When you're scrolling through and you see different posts and there's a ton of people liking it, a ton of people sharing it, it gives off social proof that a bunch of people are liking this post, which is true. Little do we know that it's coming from an ad, right? Because once, once they stop it, that engagement stays and this post could be a post on their business page and it's no longer running as an ad, but the social proof remains. So it was worth it to spend the 20 bucks to get a ton of people to share it, a ton of people to like it. So when we turn the ad off, those numbers remain. And, we, and now our post looks like an authority. It looks like it's been seen by a ton of people, which it has. And, and little do people know that it was an actual ad that made all that happen. So number reason, reason number one why this person would run it is for the social proof, to get the numbers up high and to really build that credibility. Okay, what could another reason, another reason be? Another reason could be that this person didn't have a landing page, which they probably do. I don't even want to click on learn more because I know where this is going. I've seen this ad before. But this, and there's a link right there in the actual, in the actual, I mean, in the, um, in the copy up here in the text. So th there's the link. So this learn more is definitely taking me to this link right here. But reason number two could have been that they didn't have a link. You know, a lot of people can run, you can run an engagement ad, someone that doesn't have a landing page, you don't have to have a website, you don't even have to have any URL at all, and you can run this engagement ad and just get a bunch of people to comment. That's reason number two. So reason number two, a lot of people that don't even have a landing page, don't even have a website, but they want to run Facebook ads and keep everything on Facebook, they'll run an engagement ad and just get a ton of people to comment, a ton of people to comment. Now, one, one downfall about that is that you obviously have to keep looking at your Facebook all damn day because if you have ads running and you have people commenting, it's your job to make sure that you're replying. It's your job to be stuck to your, your phone like freaking flies on shit and you have to be commenting and replying to all these comments because you're paying for those comments, right? Those aren't just random comments coming because you put up something organically. Those are paid engagements. So you want to make sure that you're actually replying and staying engaged with the post. That's the whole purpose of an engagement ad. So you can get a the the you can get the Facebook algorithm working in your favor because a ton of people are commenting and Facebook keeps showing it to more people. Okay. That's number two. Reason number three is to get a shitload of people to share it. Okay. Depending on your budget, if you had 50 bucks, like let's say, for example, we put 50 bucks at this engagement ad, this three, this 30 would most likely end up at 300 within a few days. We'd have hundreds of people share it. That's a huge, huge benefit. Huge benefit. Is that worth the 50 bucks? Hell yeah. To get a bunch of people to comment, to keep them on Facebook. Remember, we don't have a landing page. Let's just say we don't have a website. We're just running ads and keep keeping the traffic on Facebook. It was worth it for all those people to comment, and it was for sure worth it for all those people to share it. They all shared it to all their friends, and tens of thousands of people um, most likely saw this video, which 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 was super powerful. So, the fourth reason here's here's the fourth reason, and that, and that's kind of all I got for you. The fourth reason why someone would run an engagement ad is to build custom audiences of the people who are actually engaging in it, okay? And the only reason why you would do that is to retarget those people in the future. So for example, I run this engagement ad. I run it for five days at $10 a day. I put $50 into it. What I'm gonna be able to do now is I'm gonna be able to go into Facebook and create a custom audience of everyone who engaged in this post. 
So all the people who shared it, all the people who commented, all the people who liked it, all the people who clicked on it, Facebook is going to allow me to categorize all those people, create a custom audience, and then therefore I can retarget that audience in the future with ad number two. That's powerful. So as people start to start to click and comment and share, Facebook's going to collect all that data for you, and that's now considered a warm market. Now you can go out there and run the next ad, run the next ad, run multiple ads thereafter, and retarget those people who engaged in your previous ads. That's powerful. That's the name of the game. No matter what objective you're running is retargeting. You're going to be retargeting people who are engaging. You're going to be retargeting people who are landing on your pages because you're pixeling them. You're going to be retargeting people who are watching your videos because Facebook's tracking all the video views, right? So creating custom audiences are what you absolutely have to do. In fact, stay to the end of this video, stay to the end of the video. And at the end, you're going to see uh, me uh, do another video on how to create a custom audience and why you need to be creating custom audiences. All this engagement needs to be in a custom audience that you're going to be able to retarget with future ads in, in the future. Okay. With ads in the future. So stay to the end. You'll see that video come up. Um, that's how to, to, um, to create custom audiences with, uh, with Facebook. So that's super, super powerful. But mainly those are the top four reasons, man, why you would run an engagement ad. So, so and, and, and you know what? Let me, let, me, let, me, let me add number five. Here's number five. Here's number five. Okay, here's the, top, here's the fifth reason. It's because of the engagement, because of the numbers, because of the social proof. So let's say, for example, I have $100 to spend on a Facebook on, on, on Facebook, which ain't shit. So you want to step your game up in 2020. You got to be coming with a little bit more budget than that. But let's say, for example, just for the, the, the numbers sake, let's say we have a hundred bucks and let's say 50 bucks. We're going to spend on this engagement ad. And the whole purpose is to get a shitload of people to comment, like, and share. Okay. After the $50 budget, that ad is turned off. We then go run a second ad using the same exact post, using the same exact ad, but rather than engage, or I should say post, but, ra but rather than running an engagement ad, let's say we run it again for conversions, but we only run it to the people who engaged, that's retargeting. But then also we take it again and we run it un under video views. Now, whenever we want to grab this con this post, this is what we what we call an asset. Whenever we want to run this asset again, let's say this is a, a high converting ad. A lot of people engaged, a lot of people viewed it, and it's a good video. And we want to shut it off now and we want to rerun it again. When we rerun it again, this is number five. When we whenever we rerun this this ad again, these numbers stay. So one reason to run a video, I mean, excuse me, to run an engagement is to get all these numbers up and then we shut it off and run it again under, let's say conversions. And by the time we run it under conversions, all these numbers are super high. That's the reason. That's the fifth reason is the social proof. And I don't know if that was reason number one, should I'm going to have to rewind this video and watch it myself, but it's a social proof. Okay. It's a social proof. Whether I said that as number one or not, it's, it's social proof. When you have big numbers like that and people are scrolling through, let's see if we can find, find one that's actually even bigger than that as far as the numbers. Let's see. Look at this. Perfect example. Perfect, perfect example. This is a 30-second video, man. This is ran from Spark AR Creators. Look at the engagement. 8,000 people liked it. 405 comments. 548 shares. That is the definition of an engagement ad, okay? Now, they ran it under that. They ran the engagement ad first under engagements, right? They ran the ad under engagements first. Let's say they put a couple hundred bucks to get these big, big numbers. This is the very, very first time that I'm seeing this ad. I've never seen this ad. I don't know who Spark AR creators are, but hey, trip out, trip out on this. Look at it this way. Let's say, for example, they spent the last month targeting a completely different audience, okay? And they ran it under engagement. They got all this engagement and they did it last month, okay? Now we're in a new month 
and now they're running it again, but under, let's say, conversions. And by the time they run it again, it's coming to people like me. And by the time I'm seeing this ad for the very first time, the numbers are absolutely ridiculous. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, holy shit, these people must be crushing it. 548 shares, 405 comments. Are you kidding me? Who the hell are these people? They must be doing extraordinary, right? That's the assumption and that's the perception and that's what people think. And that's how that, that, that's social proof. And so it was worth the hundred bucks on the engagement. They turned it off and then now they're running it, running it again because it was a great video. So now they're running it again under conversions over here under conversions because their whole objective now is to get people to download. Download, learn more, which when you click on learn more, you can go to a page, a landing page and enter your name and email or, or, or yeah, to download something. That's conversion. That's a conversion. An action is a conversion. An action is a sell or a, or a lead capture. Okay. That's conversion. That's the conversion objective over here. Okay. So if you're looking to do any of that, make a sell online or capture an actual name and number, AKA elite, it's conversions. But if, again, if you had extra budget, is it worth it to run engagement first to get a shitload of people to comment, like, and share, and then take the same piece to come over here and run conversions? Was it worth it? Hell yeah, it was worth it. These people to have these big numbers like that, all that shows, man, is credibility. All that does is show social proof. It's 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 it's, it's letting people like like me think and assume that they're the big swinging, you know what, of the industry, and they're killing it. That's all I'm thinking. Big numbers, you know, freaking crushing it. That's what I'm thinking. And so, that's the whole purpose of an engagement, man. Is to is to get people to stay on the platform crank up the numbers and engage in your post. And those are all the different ways that, that are reasons why you would do it. And, 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 if, and if anything, in my opinion, the biggest reasons why is to create the custom audience and retarget those who engage. And that's exactly what you do with a video view ad. So when you come in here and you run video views, the whole objective with video views is to not get people to click on it and go to a landing page or to get people to click on it and go buy, buy your product. That's not video views. The whole objective with video views is to capture an audience, is to create a custom audience of all the people who are actually viewing it. So then therefore you can go out there, ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, and retarget all the people who watched your video. That's how you continue to stay top of mind and you continue to get in front of a warm market. And that's how your actual cost would remain super low because all you're doing is retargeting an existing warm market of people who are, who are already watching your stuff or engaging in your post. Okay. So I know that was a ton right there. You guys rewatch this video if you need to, um, and, 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 and learn from it, man, because those right there are all the reasons why an engagement ad is, is, is worth it. Um, just depend on your budget and, and depend on, on your overall objective. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, man, is I'll run a quick engagement ad. I'll put together something super random real quick and, and just run it, run it through. So you guys can know how I set it up. Um, and depending on what industry you're in, if you're in housing or if you're in employment or if you're in credit, okay. Um, if you're in insurance, mortgage loans, make sure you click on one of these. Okay. Cause if you don't, if you don't check this box and, 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 um, check and, you know, freaking mark the correct one, your ad will not be um, approved. Okay. For sure. So I'm going to go with this one, the homeowner's insurance. I'm going to run it on a, on a, on a sample page right here. Shout out to my boy, Robert. Um, and we're going to just set up a quick engagement ad under his, um, his, his recent post. And what I do also is I, I post Every ad that I do, nine out of 10 ads that I do, I put it on the page first, okay? Now, this right here is what he put up on the page on the fifth, and this is what he wrote. Being selfish isn't always bad. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add to it because this is gonna be an engagement ad. So I wanna see how, how it actually you know, turns out. So what I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna simply ask 
a few a question in 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 here up at the top. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna add to this. Being selfish isn't always bad. What are your thoughts? Drop a comment below. Okay, so now we're getting people to comment. We're getting people to drop a comment. What are your thoughts? We're asking them a question. Being selfish isn't always bad. What are your thoughts? Drop a comment below. I'm going to save that. And, and, and now we're going to go in as an engagement ad. So whatever your engagement ad is, ask a question. Because the whole thing is, is to get people to comment. That's the whole purpose of an engagement ad is to get people to comment, get people to share it, get people to like it. So let's ask them, let's, Hey, what are your thoughts? And let's just get a shit little people to comment below with their thoughts. Okay. So that this will be fun and we don't have to put a huge budget towards it. So let's go with, um, let's go with, we're going to go with, and we're not even going to go with CBO right now because it's going to be a one-time one-off ad. So I'm not going to um, even do worry about the, the campaign budget optimization. Let's just run through this part here and set it up. So custom audiences. We don't have any custom audiences just yet. Um, so we're going to come down here and we're going to simply target his local area. People who live in the city of Norman. Okay. Actually, you know what? We're going to go with everyone in his state. Let's go with everyone in the state. Oklahoma. How do you even spell Oklahoma, dude? Okay, so let's go with Oklahoma. We're going to just target everyone in the actual state, people who live in this state, okay? Okay. And then, and then when you actually go with, when you check that box and you go with housing or credit or, um, or anything like that, like I did on the first page, you can no longer choose or change the actual age or the gender. Okay. So that remains the same and that's totally fine. And we're not even going to, we're not even going to focus on, on any of the detail targeting. We're going to leave it very, very broad. And this is another, another, another key, key strategy. And a, and a golden nugget tip on, a, on an engagement ad. A lot of times people will come in here and put in the actual demographics, the interests, and the behaviors, right? The detailed targeting. But in this case, I'm not. I'm going to leave it straight blank. I'm going I'm to leave it wide open. I'm going to leave it wide open because my whole thing is I want to grab an audience. I'm, I'm, this is a cold ad I'm going out to a cold market. These are people that don't know him yet. It's an engagement ad. Okay, so what we're gonna do at the end of this at, at the end of this campaign, we'll put five dollars a day for five days, and at the end of the campaign, we're gonna get a bunch of people who engage. And what what I'm gonna do is then be able to create a custom audience of everyone who engaged with this post, and then and then retarget them in the future. Okay, so is that worth the twenty five bucks? Heck yeah, it's worth the twenty five bucks. So we're gonna leave this part blank. We're not even gonna worry about that. Now, what we're going to also do is we're going to exclude people who like his page. We don't need to target those folks who like the page. I'm going to leave it at automatic placements. That's fine. Um, post engagement is what we're going for. And then we're going to go daily budget of $5. And we're going to set a start and end date. So today is the 27th. And I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with 5 p.m. We're going to start it today. And we're gonna go till the end of the month. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go 27, 5, 10, 15, 20. We'll put $20 towards this ad and run it for the next uh, four days. Okay, so this is how I normally set up my ads, you guys, because I don't like to, even though I do check my ads all damn, all, all, all day. I mean, I'm, I'm in the damn ads manager all day and I'm, to tell you the truth, I am micromanaging it to a certain extent because I get high off the numbers. I get freaking high off the numbers. I love looking at the damn numbers and, and, and making sure that the ads performing, you know, right. So, but if I happen to forget about it or if I happen to, and, and that's what allows my mind to do. My mind allows me to forget about it. Although I come in here and, and, and watch the numbers like a hawk, um, my mind is at ease because I know that my mind, I know in my mind that I have a, a, an end date already set up. 
where I know that I'm not going to go over budget. That's the biggest thing I don't want to do. I don't want to go over budget. I don't want to forget about an ad that is still turned on and it's been 70 days later and the damn ad is still turned on. And it's like, dude, you don't want that. So, so I always make sure that there's an end date, um, but I still micromanage the ads and, and I'm looking at the ads all day. And because it's what I do full time, man, that's what I do full time. So, so I'm always up in here, but I still set a, a, a start and end date for sure. Okay. So I'll go $5 a day, um, run it for the next four days. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit continue. And now we're in the third step. So as I mentioned, I post it on the page first. Okay. So it goes on the business page first. And then I come in here and run the ad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have the correct page. So I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, get the right page. There's the right page. And then I'm going to use existing posts. So you selected page. We'll just leave that as that. And then we're going to use existing posts. And it's going to be that last one that you just seen. Being selfish, being selfish isn't always bad. You choose that post right there. You hit continue, and now we have it there. So we don't have to write anything. We don't have to upload a video or an image. Everything is already there because it's on the page, okay? So down here, and so it'll say right here, this post can't be used for, for ads on Instagram, which is fine, okay? So, and then if I want, I can add a call to action button. So again, even though it's an engagement ad and people are going to be engaging with it, liking, comment, share. There's a chance that someone can click learn more and go to an actual landing page or go to a website, right? There's always that chance. So right here, just to kind of back yourself up, you can always put some type of call to action button, get quote, learn more, send message shop. Now I'll just put send message for now. Since we're not taking them off of Facebook, we're going to leave them on Facebook. And if they want, they can for sure always send a message. But we just want to, we want to, we want to see the numbers. We want to just kind of get some engagement going. And again, the whole purpose of this is so I can create an audience, create a custom audience of people who engage in it, and then I can retarget them in the future. Okay. So, um, preview not available, unable to display a preview. Out. Okay. That's fine. Um, it will refresh once. And then right here I can create new or I can use existing. So this is on just on the messaging, which we don't have an existing. So we're going to just leave that as is. And then verify your changes. You hit confirm and you're done, you guys. That is it. That's how you set up an engagement ad. And so hopefully that kind of answered some questions to Miriam. Um, what you want to do is if you have, if you know your interest and you know your target audience, then for sure, put that in the detailed targeting. But, but a lot of times when, when it comes to the engagement, it's good to leave it wide open as well because at the end of it, all I'm going to be doing is grabbing all the people who engaged with it. As long as it's within my city or within my state and, or within my country on where I'm doing business, like I don't want to send an ad worldwide and, 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 and create a custom audience of all the people that, who engage with it because when I go and try to sell something to them in the future, they're not even my audience. I don't want to do it that way. So when you're doing an engagement ad, Always make sure it's within the same location, within the locations that you're, that you're able to do business, okay? In this case, the guy's doing business in Oklahoma. So I'm not going to run this ad all across the country or in multiple countries because if I get all that engagement and create a custom audience around all those people who engaged, when we go run Facebook ad number two, three, and four, we're going to have an audience of a bunch of people that are out of our, out of our demographics, and that's not what we want. So in this case, we're going straight for his state and we're going to just find everyone who engages with the post and then retarget, retarget them in the future um, with our custom audience and with future Facebook and Instagram advertising. Okay, so hopefully that made sense, you guys. Shout out to Miriam. Thank you so much for dropping a comment and asking a question. If you guys are new to the channel, man, I'm dropping weekly content on social media marketing, affiliate marketing, and making money online. So I've been building myself an agency um, since 2016 in the trenches, focused on one niche, focused on Facebook advertising, focused on affiliate marketing, and focused on just bringing value to the online entrepreneur. So if you're new, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from, and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. If, and if you guys are new to Facebook ads, 
I have a ton of free training on my VIP email list. So make sure you're, you're subscribed to that list and check your freaking emails okay the link is in the is in the description and it's also the first one pinned in the comments and that is facebook or excuse me fb ads for beginners.com fb ads for beginners.com jump on the vip list i'm going to be sending weekly emails on all kinds of tips and strategies a lot of shit that i don't that i don't even put on youtube you guys will be getting you know first dibs on all my secrets and all my strategies on how i'm building my business through Facebook and Instagram advertising. So jump on the VIP list, fbadsforbeginners.com, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.